Hi everybody, my name is Eri and I will be harvesting this beautiful custard apple. Today is the day. You can see how I push on the fruit and it just very soft. So today I will cut it off. This is the best time when the fruit reached full flavor, the sweetness, but you can cut this fruit even earlier before it gets soft for whatever reason you have to cut it off before that and it will ripen up because it's a climacteric fruit and it will ripen up even after cutting it off but you don't want to cut it off before maturity if you want to eat the best what you can eat uh, wait with it and soften it up like let it be soft on the tree and that is when the best flavor will come out of that fruit. That's my experience so far with this Anona reticulata or castor apple fruit. If you thought that it was interesting fruit from the outside, judging by the cover, judging by the outside of the fruit, check out the inside. How pleasing is that to the eye? It's just so pretty. And the other very good thing, the seed and flesh ratio, very, very good. Small seed, get a good amount of flesh. You don't want to eat the seeds, definitely don't want to chew on them. Just like apple seeds, it contain amygdalene, what normally degrades to hydrogen cyanide. Some countries using the seed, the leaves and the unripe fruit for insecticidal treatment. Some people even using the seeds as or the leaves as a head lice treatment but it did happen that the, by accident they let it into their eye because you know what the way they were using to the head treatment or skin treatment and it caused eye problems so whenever you trimming back this tree and you get contact with the sap always wash your hands before itching your eye this is true for many other trees and plants. Plants are smart. They want to make sure that the insects not going to kill them, not going to eat them all up. So they producing all these toxins and that's how they save themselves. I'm growing this tree for around four years. And from my experience, it is very easy to grow. And from seed to fruiting is just a couple of years so it's definitely worth because it's a rare fruit hard to find when you find it it's on the pricier side the best you can see the best time to pick this fruit when it's already fully ripened on the tree it's you're gonna get the most out of the fruit and so it's definitely if you have a chance, plant it, grow it, enjoy it. It's like a dessert. So with that said, I will share uh, this fruit with a couple of friends. I leave one for my husband and four pieces going to four different households so they can taste it as well. And hopefully plant the seeds and grow it themselves. I grow these tree trees with uh, lots of organic matter, a lots of mulch and chop and drop like moringa and mexican sunflower i don't use any chemical fertilizer thanks so much for watching push a like if you like the video and if you want to watch more plant videos you know where to find me <laughs> bye guys see you later